So, Justin, you've just come back. You've been down there with Charlie. You've looked at the production systems. One of the things I want to highlight is how closely Estia Health has been working with MLA over the past two years with those national masterclasses with the executive yeah. chefs. How have you grown demand with the product beef and lamb from our masterclass series? Yeah, well, look, Sam, back in our homes, the key thing is for our chefs to be comfortable put in any cut of meat, whatever cut that is, on the on the plate and if they're comfortable and they know how to how to cook it then it'll be a great result for our residents and if our residents are happy it stays on the menu a lamb's fry is an example if you overcook a lamb's fry it's horrible and the residents want it off the menu but if you teach the chefs which we have in our masterclass series on how to cook lamb's fry properly well then it's delicious and the residents want to keep it so, you know, the producer wants to know about numbers, mate. How have we grown demand with Estia over those two years of masterclasses yeah, that we've so been those, doing? Those two, ki two years of masterclasses have seen us put red meat on the menu 12% more than what we were when we started those masterclass series. So 12% uh, when we're talking uh, a, a company as big as Estia, that's a hell of a lot of red meat, mate. <laughs> so it's so, oh, 130 tonnes plus we were talking about? It yeah. was about 130 tonne, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's significant volume, you know, so it's really good to see that the partnership's going there with industry, direct with food service providers like you, to grow demand, not only to give uh, a, a premium result for your residents, yep. but also to grow demand for our wonderful farmers out there. And it's, you know, Sammy, it's teaching um, our chefs to be comfortable using, you know, delicious cuts of meat like this shoulder that we're, that we're going to go through here in a minute, you know, normally... Um, you know, our chefs or a lot of chefs would just get the diced lamb from the butcher. They wouldn't specify what type of diced lamb they want, yeah? But for this ragu today, we specified um, that we want shoulder. And we want the shoulder because it's gonna, uh, it's gonna cook really well over a long period of time um, and, and it'll break down and it'll be delicious to eat. There we go, Sammy, the ragu's all ready. It's been a great couple of days up here, uh, soaking in all that there was to learn about uh, being on a producer's farm and seeing how fantastic Australian lamb is produced. Uh, I'm really looking forward to taking back to our homes the couple of dishes that we've, that we've created. And I'm looking forward to continuing to develop the relationship between SDA Health and Meat and Livestock Australia. Justin. On behalf of the producers of Australia, it's been our pleasure. Thanks, mate. Thank you.